Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? I'm so, so, so excited to be here. I'm so, so, so excited to be talking to you guys for Truth Talk Tuesday. So, um, hi, Joe, how are you? Um, so this Truth Talk Tuesday is gonna be so, so, so fun. So, so, so awesome. Um, we are gonna be talking about love, obviously. It's really, really um, timely with Valentine's Day coming up and with, um, well, love is always timely, but <laughs> so yeah. So, and for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Deborah Acker. Um, I work a lot with patterns um, and I'm all about truth and helping people live a life that's really, really true for them, helping them be true to themselves. So um, what we are gonna talk about today is love, right? And I wanna take this in three different steps, right? So for everyone out there who's single, we're gonna talk about the single people. For everyone out there who is dating, we're gonna talk about th that uh, what love looks like for in dating and truth in dating. And for the everyone who's maybe not dating but is like wanting to get their partner back or get someone back, um, I know that was a question that had come up last week on last week's uh, live stream. So I wanna definitely make sure to address that as well. So first things first, right? So for everyone out there who is single, what does truth look like when you are single, right? Um, I know, and I know from uh, before I started doing this work and just from, uh, from that I have friends out there that are dating, um, I can tell you when I was doing this work, um, and just before I started doing this work, there was kind of this focus. It's like you're single and say if you're in the place where you want to have children, um, there can be this really big focus just to kind of like uh, like fill the hole, right? So it's like putting, uh, for lack of a better way to put it, uh, putting that um, round peg in a square hole. So basically there can be like a really, really strong focus on just like taking whoever comes along, right? And not being mindful about who that per person is or does that person have the qualities that you want, right? So you just kind of end up, you know, maybe you're online and somebody reaches out to you and you end up just saying, okay, like, and it's cool to go out on like one date and like check it out and stuff, but you, you end up kind of just, um, not actually like being really mindful of like, does this person have the, some of the things that I'm looking for, right? Like, do are they are they a partner that I can grow with? Are they a person that I can really, really um, grow with and be with and stuff? So, really, really, like when you're truth and date, truth in being single and truth in dating. Like, being single means being really, really mindful about who you're going out with, right? You know, um. For me, I can say like, as I've been dating and stuff, one of the things I have this really super, super fun experiment that I've been doing um, as of late, and it is the truth experiment, right? And basically for me, in terms of dating, um, the truth experiment looks like basically, can I be true to myself every single time I go on a date, right? So an old pattern for me, an old pattern of mine was um, a really common pattern for me was that, um, uh, you know, kind of just, you know, and you're not, it's not to say something that I was like truly, you know, this is before I was doing this work and it was not necessarily something that I was truly conscious of, but I will say, um, that the, pa this pattern that I had, um, was all around just sort of kind of like, I wouldn't, I would, it would I'd want to be agreeable on a date, right? You know, and of course we want to be agreeable when we're dating, but, um, I'd be agreeable at the expense of my own truth, right? So I'd be on a date with someone and there would be that, like that sense of just like being agreeable, like, oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. And not really having an opinion and not really being in my own truth. So I started this truth experiment, which is so, so super fun. And I totally, totally recommend, um, checking it out cause it's so fun. But, um, the truth experiment is basically all about, uh, just practicing can it, like being true to yourself on every date. So that's always, when I go on a date at this point, it's a centering point for me, right? Can I be true to myself on this date? Right? Like, can I actually show up as me and not inhibit myself so that this person likes me? And I think that that's a really, really, really um, important uh, nuance, right? Like to really, really be very mindful and be like, can I show up on this date so that um, where this, like not just so that this person likes me, but can I show up in my own truth? And maybe my own truth means disagreeing with something that they say or having an opinion about something that maybe they don't agree with, but 
it's me being in my truth. And so that's been something that's been really, really fun, something that I've been playing with, something that I've been um, really, really enjoying because it's like, hey, I get to show up as me. Um, and then what ends up happening, what's really, really fun is the more that I choose me and the more that I'm just in that self-love on, um, at, like as I'm dating, the more that, um, like, I, like I have a blast, right? And I kind of leave the date. If this is really, really funny, but it's like, I'll leave the date and no matter how, like what my experience was with the other person, um, on the date, it's like, oh my God, I had so much fun. Like, fun with me, right? So I get to like have fun with myself and actually it's like, it's a really fun experience just being in my truth, standing in my truth, owning my truth, showing up as me, being me. So it's something just, just really, really fun, really, really powerful. Another thing just to, to point out, just to kind of, um, a lot of us um, may not be aware of this is that when we're dating someone, um, we can, it can be really, really common where we get focused on what that other person wants, right? And this is really, I would say this is even more and more common um, around, uh, it's, this is definitely even more common, I would say, around... Um, where you're uh, like with women, right? So we as women, we can be very, very centered, very, very focused around like, okay, like, you know, just doing what the guy wants and sort of like, oh, like waiting for, you know, it's, it's the feminine role, right? So like waiting for the guy to call and sort of what ends up happening is we can, we, at times we can step out of our truth around that, right? So we can end up where we are, um, uh, like we're not in full truth because we're like focused on like what can I do to keep this person around, right? What can I do to make this person um, happy? And we're, we're constantly focused on them, right? So one of the things that's awesome to practice, especially as you start to date someone and as you start to really, really um, step into this space of being in truth and being in your own truth, something that's really, really awesome is to, to constantly focus on just keep resetting yourself and what do I want here, right? What do I want here right now in this moment? moment, what, um, uh, you know, what, like, what, 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 what would make me happy here? So instead of like, instead of that positioning of like, okay, how can I keep this person in my life? Or if I do this, or if I speak up for myself, or if I speak my truth, I could lose this person. St refocusing on what do I want here? What can make me, what is going to make me happy in this moment? And guess what? As you, as you shift your centering um, off of the other person and you start to, to focus on and center in on um, what's important to you, they will too, right? Because all relationships are meant to be that mirror reflection, right? They're all meant to be this, um, uh, this mirror reflection. So it's, it's one of those things that's so, 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 so super important that you, you really are focusing on yourself and focusing on what you need because that relationship is just here to reflect you, right? And to show you the areas where you could grow and show you, uh, you know, show you your areas for opportunity, right? Um, somebody, so somebody last week asked me about getting back a, their partner, right? They wanted to get back their significant other. So this is kind of another end of the dating spectrum, right? Wanting to get back with an ex. And my question to them and anybody that's centered around wanting to get back with an ex um, is, are you wanting to get back with the ex because you were rejected or because of a childhood pattern of like being abandoned? Or are you wanting to get back with the ex because it is your authentic truth, right? So this is something we kind of have to think about, right? Because it's not something, it, you might know the answer off the top of your head, but it might be something, it might feel like it's true to you, but it's really, really important. It's really, really important to look at that and to really, really notice and pay attention. Is this, am, what is, what am, what's driving me wanting to get back with that ex, right? Because um, I know when, uh, you know, we were talking about rejection last week and last week's Truth Talk, and I know at times when I've rejected, I can feel that in my heart, right? And that rejection really ends up driving me forth. It really ends up um, moving me forth, pushing me forth, right? So it's kind of one of those things where um, when, uh, like, especially when I'm rejected by somebody that I want to be with, um, it's like really, it's really important that in those moments to take some deep breaths, right? It's really, really important to take some brief deep breaths and to really tune in. 
did, how did I, how did I feel when I was with them? How did they treat me? Did I like how they were treating me? Am I just wanting them back because, um, you know, because they rejected me because I was rejected in this moment. It's almost too, it's like, um, I don't know how many of you guys out there are watching The Bachelor, but that is like my one guilty pleasure, uh, for TV. So it's kind of the one like, uh, goofy, uh, fun, silly, um, TV thing I like to watch. So The Bachelor is all kind of based, like if you kind of watch, you know, you're watching, it's really based on a method of scarcity, right? Because you've got this one guy or one girl in this in this uh, season, it's one guy. And, you know, so you've got this one guy and it's like, oh my God, you know, it, it kind of is based on, the, it's like, he's the last man left standing on the planet, right? Which obviously is not the truth, but the setting that they put you in, the, um, the, set, the setup that they put you in really triggers people's sort of scarcity patterns, right? It really, really triggers that, like, he's the only one left, <laughs> and I want him, I want, you know, and it, it tr can trigger our competitive patterns, right? Our, our our need to be competitive, our need to want to win, and same thing, it's like, it, that same thing applies when, you know, an ex breaks up with you, when you're, you know, you're dating someone and they break up with you, and they pull the trigger first, it can trigger things that aren't necessarily um, your truth, but they can feel like your truth, right? So just really, really paying attention as to what's driving you, Dri what's driving you throughout every aspect, every area of relationship, right? It's really, really important that, um, you're just paying attention to what is driving you, right? And the biggest thing about relationship, the biggest thing we can do to attract relationship, to have an awesome, loving, beautiful, amazing relationship is to love ourselves, right? Every relationship is always about loving ourselves. And so it's so, so, so important that no matter what, we are taking actions, we are um, putting out there and we are telling the universe that we love ourselves. And we are showing the universe that we love ourselves by the choices that we're making, right? So we're setting healthy boundaries. You know, we're not, I know like when I was younger, like it can, it can be really easy to want to like run over to a guy's house when, you know, you're like, oh, it's late at night and I, like, like I want to hang out with him. So, and he wants to see me now. So that's, that's great. And really, really paying attention and really, really being aware of, um, the fact of like, okay, what is my truth in this moment? What, you know, what is, what is pulling me over there? Am I worried that if I say no, I'm going to lose him or this might be my last opportunity to spend with him? Because that can be something that's really, really common too, right? It kind of goes back to that scarcity where it's like, oh, this is the last, I might never see him again if I don't take him up on this offer <laughs> in the, at the, you know, at this hour, you know? And so just really, really paying attention to what's driving you in relationship, how you're showing up in relationship and always returning to you, right? Always centering within you always returning to you so that you are always choosing self-love because as you begin to love yourself, so will others. So um, for those of you guys who don't know me, I'm Deborah Acker. Um, I am a pattern coach and basically I offer a 30 minute complimentary discovery session. Um, and basically in that discovery session, like safe relationship is your issue. We're going to look at and clear. So we're going to clear your number one block to relationship. So, you know, I work with relationship abundance, career, health. I work with all of them, but you know, safe uh, relationships, your thing. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. We're going to clear your number one block to that. And then, um, you can kind of see, get a feel for what it's like to work with me and see and feel into if that feels right for you. So um, if that at all calls to you, you can go to my website, DeborahAcker.com. It's just my first name, last name, dot com. And then also, if you are in the Chicago area, uh, my uh, my colleague, my friend, um, Aaron Deedling and I, th uh, this weekend, are doing a Live Your Love Life workshop. And it is going to be such a awesome, awesome workshop. Um, it's going to be all around really helping bring awareness, bringing that consciousness to what you're doing in relationship. And, um, it is going to be, um, we're going to clear a bunch of stuff that comes up around relationship and we're going to bring you into some awesome visualizations because I really, really believe and my complimentary discovery sessions are based on this too. You know, a lot of times we kind of, you know, to change our circumstances, we look to the outer world, right? So we find a new relationship, we go online and start dating, for example, you know, we look to the outer world. And I really believe that when you shift what's on the inside, that's how you create a different outer experience. So all the work that I do is all around shifting what's on the inside to really, really create 
a different outer experience. So thank you so much for joining. Um, please, please, please share this with your followers. Please, um, thank you so much for the hearts. I really, really appreciate it. And just um, definitely follow me so that you can tune in every week for Truth Talk Tuesdays. And if you're into knowing more about yourself or if you're into self-awareness and really, really finding out about yourself, I will be starting sometime in the next month or so a See Yourself Clearly Saturday, right? So this is gonna be all about, again, all the patterns that can come up in our life that we may or may not be aware of so that we can start to shift shift that and really live from a space that's true for us. So in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful evening and thank you so much for tuning in. I so appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome rest of your week filled with lots and lots and lots and lots of love. Thanks so much.